Hello, I'm over on three. Welcome to part two of my uh, Pokemon Platinum randomized set lock. It's quite a mouthful. Anyway, so last episode we were given our Ponyta by the professor, and he knows some awful, well, some really good move, but it's only got five PP. Pretty sure it's the signature move of Latios and Latias. I could be totally wrong though. Anyway, so we're gonna go see what's at the lake because we're gonna try and catch a legendary Pokemon for Professor Rowan. Oh right, we're at the lake! Get ready, because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon. Trust me on this one, it's here, it even says so on the sign! I like how he says it's on the sign, as if to go check a sign, but then you don't get the chance to check the sign. Hey, what's going on? Alright, we got Cyrus. Cyrus the Virus. It's a nice, uh, Con Air reference. Okay, let's see if I can... The flowing time, the expanding space, it will make... I will make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name, remember it. Until then, sleep while you can, legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. Why did this earlier? I started to have like a sneezing fit because it thingied my nose too much. Anyway, allow me to pass. Step aside. Now, see, this is fine, right? Because somebody's actually in your way. Okay? What was that about? Weird guy. Okay, everyone, let's catch a legendary Pokemon. Kayaun. That's uh, obviously Mesprit. Did you hear that, Ovarn? That was a legendary Pokemon crying. That had to be it. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. Got no balls though, man. Wait, what? We don't have anything on us. You know, pokey balls, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. P O K accent, eat balls. <laughs> boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew, pokey balls. If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon or take them around with us. Do you think Professor Ron would give us some if you asked him? You don't really remember what he said, don't you? He said to visit him in his lab if we ever needed anything. So, okay, Elvaron, I'll race you. First from the Professor's lab in Sandrum Town rules. Oh, I'm not getting fined this time. That's good. Okay, does the sign actually say Legend of Pokemon lives here? The being of emotion. Yeah, okay. I'll take that as uh put my left here. Before I end this grass, just remember that Nuzlocke, uh, Nuzlocke rules don't start until I have Pokeballs. So my first encounter in this area, you know. Oh, this guy gives me a potion. I want a potion. Hi. Blah, 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 potion. <laughs> uh, great. Okay. Um, oh, oh, oh. What's on this route? What's on the route? What, 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 what? Ekans? Alright, I could I could I could be happy with an Ekans. I mean Yeah, alright. Luster purge. You're getting luster purged, mate. Right in the face. Oh, it's super effective. Oh you fainted. Do I level up? Yes. Spike cannon. Excellent. That's a move that's <laughs> got more PP than five. There's a guy talking about the ledge. Yeah, I actually might jump down that ledge next time. Oh, right, we gotta go with uh, Dawn here. Oh, there you are, please come. Uh, oh, there you are, please, please come with me. The professor is waiting. That's it. The professor is waiting. This is it, our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. Thud. <laughs> what the? Oh, it's you, Avarn. That old guy, he's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, Avarn. I'm out there, so see you later. Alright, bye. Wow, what was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. My Dawn voice keeps changing because I just can't be consistent with some of the voices here. Well, look who's here. Oh, Aaron, was it? Let's have a look at your Pokemon. <laughs> I love this. Well, well! You've made your Pokemon evolve already! Because it's not a Turtwig like it was supposed to be, so if not Turtwig, say it's evolved. No, it's just a Ponyta, mate. Hmm. <laughs> And trusting you with that ponytail was no mistake, it seems. Well, we'd like to give a nick. Yes, that is the rules of a Nuzlocke. Now, it took me ages to come up with a with a nickname, and I remembered that in Pokemon Go, the first ponytail I got was called Pony Yas. And this is as far as I really got before I had my little technical difficulty. So from now, now on out, more or less blind. Up until the catch tutor for certain, but I can't remember much beyond this really because it's just like a wild encounter. Right, here we go. Hmm, you happy with that name? Yes, I am. When I first saw you step out on the tall grass with that Pokemon, I was shocked. I was astounded by these foolhardy children, but now you've astounded me in an entirely different way. Already there's a bond growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Ponyta feels the same way about you. That's why I'm asking you to cherish... Th oh, sorry, that's why I'll ask you to cherish that Ponyta of yours. I'm so glad you're kind towards Pokemon, because if you weren't, I'd have to... Oh, I just can't say it, but I'd throttle you in your sleep. Alright, Don got no chill. Ahem, 
Move on to the main topic. There's only one to do for me. Allow me to properly introduce myself first. My name, as you know, is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kind of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it's necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. That is what I ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record all of the data on the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? It's kind of turned into Sean Connery, hasn't he? Oh well. Hmm, good answer. A good answer. This <laughs> is like a Sean Connery living in New York. Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Oh, Varen, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too. When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived here for 60 long- I've lived, sorry. Not just here, just have lived in general. For 60 long years, even now I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Well, I, that could be misconstrued in many, many ways. Now you should know, there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go! Of Iron, your grand adventure begins right now! Pokemon I met for the first time was a Chimchar. No, it's not. It was, uh, a Goldeen. I feel I've chosen Chimchar and Rutil want me to have the same Pokemon now. Not that matters, but... Anyway, I'm done. I also help with the professor add pages to the pool. Oh, no, wait! No, yeah. No, yeah, it'd be Goldeen. It would be Goldeen. I also had the professor add pages to the Sona Sanders like you. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go. <laughs> so I have a Pokedex now, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Oh, no, I'm going to get intercepted by Dawn. Ovarin! In the thud text. I have something good here. You should take us as well. Now, TM27, he's going to tell me it's return, but it's not return because the TMs have been randomized. That's a technical machine. The one can attains the move return. Using a technical machine, or TM for short, teaches a move instantly to. A Pokemon. Bear in mind, however, that a TM is single use only. The move return gains more power the friendlier Pokemon is with you. It's up to you, of course, if you want to use a TM or not. I'll send you off with that wish of your with the wish that your journey will be fun. Oh wow, I didn't know Professor had TMs when he was was he a of course he was a trainer when he was young. Okay, oh blah 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 blah. We're gonna get the Pokemon Center and what the market is. And I need to go tell my mum. Go tell your mum that you're con adventure. Right. But are balls available? Hey, can I buy some balls? Can't tell if that's a dude with a really bad 70s haircut or a woman. I'm gonna go for women, I think, but. Could be a dude with a really bad mullet. And you get Premier Balls bonus! That's why I bought 10 Pokeballs. 10 Pokeballs is always the best to start in the beginning if you can afford 10 Pokeballs so you can get that lovely, lovely Premier Ball. Right, so what we got here? Right, actually, you know what? I'm gonna have a look to see what the uh, the first bag opening. Is. Thud, 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 thud. What is a TM? Whirlpool. Actually, how much power is that in this generation? So tell me. Thirty-five. Wow. Okay. That's actually a bit awful. Let's get our first encounter, shall we? Encounter, encounter time. A quailfish. All right. Well, I don't want to hit it with Luster Purge, because I think... Are they part poison? I'm not quite sure. I guess we'll find out. We'll go for a Spike Cannon and just hope it doesn't die. It's quite funny, actually, because we're using its signature move against it. It's actually not doing very much damage, is it? Only hit twice. Mega Horn. Um... Ah, we're good. Mega Horn, though. Nice bug move. Okay, Quillfish. Uh-huh. No, no. Oh, thank God. Oh, I thought I was going to go for three hits there and kill it. Oh, that crit was terrible. Anyway, tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go to the bag now. We're going to throw the Premier Ball. We're going to use up all the Premier Balls first as we get them. Right, are we going to get a catch here? What? Hey. Ah, oh, you son of a gun. Bulk up. Yeah, all right. Just... All right. The more you bulk up, the less you're going to fit in this Pokeball, though, mate. So I wouldn't bulk up too much. Right, Pokeball, go! Hold my breath this time, how about that? Okay, that didn't work. Holding your breath doesn't work. Bulk up again. This is bad because, right, so... He's, now he's at times two attack. So he's going to take off six with a Mega Horn. Okay, uh, can we just catch this already? Because this is getting quite scary. Because if he crits that Mega Horn, I'm down to four HP. What's Quillfish's catch rate? Okay, one last ball, and then we're out of here. Okay. But one last ball, and then we'll kill it, because it can kill us. Good, right? 
It's because I told him I was going to faint him if he, if he didn't catch his turn. So we got Quillfish. Here we go, go, go. Shoots poison spines. It It's round four makes it a poor swimmer. Oh, sorry, Quillfish. Nicknamed Quillfish. I don't know. It's a bit like a mace, isn't it? You could pick him up and throw him around like a mace. Mace doesn't have a good name to it because mace can also mean like pepper spray. Uh, quill fish. Quills like like a quill of a feather. I'm gonna call him. I can. See, I, I I know. I'm really bad at nicknames. Um. Let's go for... Let's go for Spike because I'm really uncreative and can't think of anything. Okay, how about that? Alright, if I think of something better by the time we get to the name rater, then we'll go for that. Right, so he's gonna have just those two moves. Let's have a look. Oh, one HP as well, wow. Oh yeah, my ability, because that's randomized too. Keen Eye, what have you got? Water Absorb? Okay, they must not be randomized. I thought the abilities were. Okay, never mind. Uh, bulk up. Bone Meringue? Holy shit, thank god you didn't hit me with Bone Meringue, it would have killed me! Actually, super effective only goes to 100, and that was 120, so I suppose actually it's not that bad. But still, Bone Meringue? Whoa! Right, now my Pokemon are weak as hell, so I've just got to make it out of the grass, there we go. It's made out of the grass, so that's good. I'm gonna go speak to our mother to say, oh, we're going on an adventure, and then she'll heal us up, then we can go and see our Verity Lakefront encounter. Ho 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 ho! Ha 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 ha. Hey, Ma. Welcome home. Welcome home, Aaron. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? I just made dinner. Take a... How about you take a quick rest, dear? What is it, Aaron? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. I know. I I've got something that you'll find useful. And I got a journal to write down all the things I did that day and the day before so I can try and figure out what I was doing if I ever stopped playing for like a month. Gee. A journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You and your po have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking. Yep, Bobarn. I'll be alright by myself. You go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. And then we get Tumphy's mum. And we'll give her a different voice of, Excuse me, is my little Tumphy here? Oh, no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What what to do? That boy shouted about going on a venture and then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least want him to take this. No worry. Oh, Varen will deliver that to him. Uh, what? Uh, won't you? Uh, I guess, uh, oh, really? Oh, okay. I guess I'm doing it. I don't have a choice. Bye-bye, Varen. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. By knowing that boy, probably go straight to. It probably goes straight to Jubilife. Well, yeah. I mean, it's the only city on the road, so... She did heal me up, right? Okay, so we've got Pony Ass and Spike, and then we're going to go to the Verity Lakefront and see if we can get there. And then buy more Pokeballs, because we're almost out, because that Quillfish used them all up, more or less. Well, actually, this is Verity Lakefront here, and then you go here, and it's just Lake Verity. Yeah, okay, so what we can, what we going to get? What, 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 what we going to get? We have got a Flareon. Flareon has no moves. Ha 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 ha. I suppose we'll catch it if we can. Uh, I'm just going to hit it with Spike Cannon. And if it dies, it dies. I mean, I'm not too fussed about Flareon. Okay. Facade. Alright. But this is randomized, so Flareon might actually have moves. I didn't think about that, actually. So we'll just go for Flareon. Holy hell, that catch rate, mate. Sacred Fire. Holy crap. I want this if it doesn't kill me. 19 to fit. Right, so we got. We got. We got. Right, okay, we, yeah, sick. I want that for the Sacred Fire. <laughs> Come on, Flareon. Even though you're the False Prophet. Right, so that was doing 4. Facade is doing 3. Okay. Come on. Press A and B at the same time and then let go. Obviously, you shouldn't have let go, you should have kept holding them. T Bolt? Holy hell! This this Flareon has moves. So you're in 4, 3, 4. Okay, so one more Pokeball, and then we're gonna heal up with that free potion. And then if it doesn't catch in all the Pokeballs we've got, then we can't catch it. And I'll just kill it. 
Ah, I thought threatening to kill it would have worked. <laughs> sacred fire. Oh no, watch the sacred fire crit right here, right? Watch it. Here comes the sacred fire crit. Okay, then sacred fire crit, that's good. So we're gonna go to HP, potion use, take pony ass back up to full health. Right. I'm gonna get hit by like a T bolt or a facade. So facades are in three. So facades are more. For, well, I mean, Pony Ass is the perfect counter for this Flareon. Come on, mate. I just want you on my team, man. If you don't catch within three balls, I'm just gonna faint you. Just growl. It's like, did that uh, at me there. It's like, come in and do it. Th Thunderbolt, Sacred Fire, Facade, Flareon, though. Like, that's amazing. So we kind of need him. Come on, Flareon, you've got great moves for once. Okay, one last Pokeball, and then we had to kill. This is your last chance, Flareon. If you don't catch in this ball, you're just getting fainted. Okay, faint to Flareon. Really annoyed, because... Oh, that moves up so good! Watch the T-Bolt crit in the paralysis right here. Well, I predicted the, the crit, but not... Spike Hand's gonna miss. No, it's fine. <laughs> I was like, Spike Hand, Spike Hand can miss. Well, thanks for the PP, Flareon, but also no thanks because I wanted you on my team, actually. And with that, that's the end of part two. So come back next time for part three and we'll head towards Jubilife City and have a look at the catch tier, I suppose. So, catch you on the flip side. Sorry, <laughs> try that again. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs>